Today, we're going to be looking at the brand new update for MCP agents from NA10. Now, previously, you had to set this up locally. You have to self-host the whole process to use the community nodes feature, which is how you could previously use NA10 agents. Now, instead, it's much easier to set them up, which you can see with this MCP server trigger. Then you can link NA10 to multiple different tools. And what I would say is the biggest benefit of all of this is that you can actually connect this over to Claude, all right? So inside Claude, you can actually start using MCP servers to send emails and that sort of thing. So you can see here, for example, we sent this email using an MCP server and this is connected to NA10. So we've actually got our Claude desktop connected to our MCP server on NA10. And then we can connect the MCP server over to, for example, like Gmail or call in other workflow tools which I'll show you exactly how to set up in a minute. For example, I actually sent this using Claude Desktop, this email right here. I just said to Claude Desktop, using the NA10 MCP server, go off, send an email, boom shakalaka, you can see that was sent. It actually took me absolutely ages to figure all this stuff out. So I hope you find this useful. And I'll also talk about the pros and the cons, which I've listed inside the AR Profit Boardroom, if you want to get access to that as well, right? So let's get straight into this. So what you can see here is we have an AI agent connected to an MCP client and we have our MCP server trigger, which is, has an SSE endpoint we can connect, all right? So what we're trying to do here is basically set up an MCP trigger, but you can basically connect any app for a tool using this process, like you can see right here. So you could connect, for example, like Airtable, MCPs via Asana, AWS, etc. And essentially, once you've done that, you can then connect this to Claude. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. But the step number one here is that you need to update your workspace inside NA10. So if you go to NA10, go to your dashboard, and then inside the NA10 version section over here, you want to make sure you've selected the latest beta. All right? So we're running 1.88 on the updates. Okay. Once you've done that, it's going to have to restart the workspace, wait a couple of minutes. And then once that's been set up, what you're going to see inside NA10 is this MCP server trigger option. Okay. So if you want to set up an MCP server trigger, basically you would right click add node inside a canvas. So we can create workflow. We can add a step. We can set up the MCP server trigger like you can see right here. And then you'll see that you've got a test URL and a production URL, and this gives you an SSE endpoint. Now, this is one of the biggest issues with the NA10 setup is it's using SSE, it's not using MPX. And if you want to use most of the MCPs and the servers that most people use, so let me find this list for you. So if you want to find most of the model context protocol servers that most people use, so for example, like Slack, Airbnb, et cetera, stuff like that, then a lot of these have their MPX endpoint. And that means you can't use it inside the MCP server trigger on NA10, all right? Because it's SSE, it's not MPX. I don't know what any of that means. I'm not a coder, but I know that for sure, all right? Um, based on my layman's understanding of this process, all right? So what you got here is an MCP trigger. And that's pretty easy to set up, like you can see right here. And then inside the MCP trigger, you can start adding tools. So for example, we could set up a Gmail tool and then we can get the AI to figure out who to send to, who to send from, the message to send. We can have the email type as HTML. And then now that is connected to our MCP server trigger. And we can add multiple one of these. So we could add like a Gmail tool for drafting emails or getting your emails or deleting emails, etc. So you can see here, for example, inside this MCP server trigger, let me pull this down. We've got one for getting our messages, drafting emails, and sending messages, all right? And then what you can also do is you can connect this to other NA10 workflows. So you can see here, for example, we can select different workflows from the list and we can input queries into that, all right? So we could have another Gemini agent somewhere along the way, and then we can use that MCP server to call other AI agents. What does that mean? Let me explain it. So essentially you're going to have way more freedom 
inside Claude because now Claude is connected to all your NA10 agents. All right. So everything's a lot more connected. Like previously, you might be using Claude, then you might be using like ChatGPT, then you might be using NA10. All right. And now with NA10's new MCP server protocol, you can link all these together because you can build Claude and OpenAI agents inside NA10. And then when you use Claude desktop, you can connect your MCP servers to your NA10 workflows, like you can see right here. For example, we've got this NA10 agent connected as a tool to our MCP server trigger. And then inside Claude, when you set this up, and I'll show you how to set it up in a minute. If we go to a new chat over here, we can see that we've got all of these tools connected, right? So we've got AI content, which is the AI content tool, we've got Gmail, creating emails, getting our emails and sending our emails, right? So we can actually send emails directly from Claude because it's connected to NA10. So you can see how to set up a tool inside your MCP server trigger like this. And then if you want to connect this to Claude, you would just make sure number one, that you make this active. And then number two, grab this production URL, like you can see right here. All right. And then from there, you need to install the Claude desktop app. Once you've got that installed, like you can see right here, then we can actually set up MCP settings. Now, once you've got Claude desktop installed, you're going to go to help settings and enable developer. All right. So. You just go to help and then enable developer mode, right? And once you've done that, you'll see this developer sign under here and inside your settings, you'll have this developer tab right here, right? The developer tab will allow you to set up MCP. Right, like you can see right here, we've got our MCP server running with NA10. And if we go to edit config, we have a JSON file that we can edit. Now inside this JSON file, you can see how we set this up. Let me pull this up. And I'll plug it into the AI Profit Boardroom if you want to get access to this. So you can see the code that we've set up. And basically, we've put in quote marks, MCP servers, NA10, command, arguments, super gateway, SSE, and then you've got the endpoint right there. So this is the SSE endpoint from the production URL inside the server trigger. So just to recap so far, you're going to update your NA10 workspace to 1.88. Then you're going to add a new node on a new workflow called MCP server trigger. From there, you can add whichever tools you want to connect to your MCP server. So for example, we've added Gmail and also another AI agent from another workflow inside NA10. From there, download Claude desktop, allow developer settings, and then inside the developer settings, set up your MCP server, just like you can see right here okay and take the production url and make your workflow live that's basically it and then once you've done that you can use this to send emails or whatever your tools are connected to right so you can see here for example we've used na10 to send this email about mcp servers and the way to use mcp servers inside claude is once you've set up the json config file then you will see the mcp servers allowed and you just restart this, right? So you're going to quit Claude, open it back up. And then inside Claude, we can say, okay, for example, send an email to me at juliangoldie.com about MCP servers. Then it's going to run that locally. Like you can see right here, it's drafting the email. And then you would just allow for the chat, right? So you're going to allow this message to send right here. And it goes off and does it like you can see in this example. All right. So it's pretty easy and simple to set up. So you can see that email has now been sent. So that was literally just sent straight away. It says, Hey, I wanted to reach out to you regarding MCP servers, blah, blah, blah. And you can see that it's figured out to send an email using Claude desktop to our email address from our Gmail. And that is just run directly from here. All right. Now, if you want the example workflow, like you can see, then you can use that inside the AI profit boardroom, we've attached an MCP AI agent template. So if you go inside NA10, download that template I've given you, then click import from file, 
upload the JSON file, like you can see, and we can import that AI agent with the MCP server, right? Good to go with all the integration set up. So if you want to set up an MCP agent in one click, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Again, you can get that from the resources inside the AI profit border. And you've also got the configuration details for Claude. So this is a Claude. And also I want to talk you through the pros and the cons of this next. All right. It's really cool. It's absolutely amazing that you can do this. There are some, a lot of pros, right? So for example, native tools, you don't need to self host N10 anymore. And the MCP trigger is set up and directly inside N10. Also, this is way easier than setting up the self hosted version, which I've also got a, a tutorial inside the AR profit border for inside here. So if you go to the SAPs from March, you'll find the MCP NA10 agents workflow right here, but it's a lot more complicated, a lot more coding involved, especially if you're a non-coder like me, I'm not a coder at all, but it took me about probably, about, I would say about 60 minutes, maybe 120 minutes to figure this all out properly. So Claude can also use NA10 tools, which is amazing to be honest, like the fact that you can connect Claude directly inside here to NA10 and all your workflows is absolutely amazing. So if you go back to our overview, we can use all of these workflows inside Claude, which is pretty cool, right? Cause you've just made Claude 10 times more powerful. You could even set up a workflow inside NA10 where it connects to the internet. And then all of a sudden Claude has all these AI agents inside NA10 connected inside the MCPs that can connect to the internet. All right. So that's pretty cool as well. You get live tool access, which is awesome. And also this works inside other apps. It's not just limited to Claude. For example, this connects to cursor as well and cursor can trigger custom workflows. The only issue is it's not fully flexible. All right. So you can't build like a super agent. It's limited in terms of how many tools and how many servers Claude can understand at once. And also it's SSE only, which means that it's not going to be able to use MPX, right? So for example, other open MCP servers, for example, Airbnb or all these other MCP servers, you can't use inside this method, right? Cause it's SSE, not MPX. And if you want to check that, let's go to GitHub MCPs and I'll show you a couple examples, right? So for example, you can see here, if we look at this Airbnb server, it's MPX, it's not SSE, All right, which means that we can't use NA10 with S with MPX only SSE. So hopefully I, I think this is going to get easier and easier to roll out, but if you want like the super early access to it, and if you want to set this up yourself, I've shown you exactly how to do it, how it works. I've shown you proof that it actually works as well with this example. And it was really easy to send this email, right? You just go into Claude, you're like, boom, let's send an email to me at juniongoli.com about MCP servers. And so yeah, I'll be happy to do that. Bear in mind, you can't do that inside ChatGPT or anything else. Like this is one of the only places you can actually do it. And you can see here, I've sent an email with information about MCP servers. The email provides an overview of what MCP servers are, et cetera. And the cool thing about this is you've basically turned Claude into a personal assistant, but it's such a nicer UI than something like NA10 where, you know, if you're, if you're trying to send emails and use this as an assistant all day, probably going to drive you crazy on the UI. And also you could give your team access to this and then they've got access to all these MCP servers inside there. Super cool stuff, really promising right now. I'm excited, but it's going to take a bit of time. All right. It's going to take a bit of time to, to figure this stuff out. And if you just want the easy access and the template that I've used today, then you can get that inside the AI profit board. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to my community that shows you how to make money and save time with AI, feel free to get that inside the AI profit border. If you're confused about anything, or if you want to meet people who are passionate like you about AI, then feel free to join the AI profit boardroom. You can also with any questions you have, there are weekly live calls. So you can get coaching whenever you need it. It has an amazing community of 685 members that you can ask about AI and that sort of thing. See all the activity inside the community here, very active community with lots of cool stuff going on right there. And also inside the classroom here, these are all different courses, right? So for example, like this social media course comes with all my best automations, including how I make money and save hundreds of hours with AI avatars. You can see here, for example, my email content automations. If you want to get the workflow and template from today, that will be inside the MA10 section as well as the SAP section. And also this comes with an amazing crash course to save you hundreds of hours with AI as well. Prices are going up this month. So feel free to get that before the prices go up. And also if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how you can get more leads, traffic, and sales for free from Google and increase your profit margins, feel free. And 
on this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free custom tailored SEO game plan to show you how to get more customers, sales and profits from Google. Also answer any questions live on the call and you'll learn how to quickly get your competitors, all right? And that's based on how we've helped literally thousands of clients at this point. You can see all the happy customers and testimonials on the website right here. So feel free to put that link in the comments and description.